this week. This is an exciting kind of recipe for me. It's not a, it's not our hard recipe. It's easy. That's not what exciting. Me and Liz, Miss Thrifty Fifty, has decided to start a series. We're going to do a collab every Thursday together. Well, it's kind of like a collab. We're going to call it a series. We're going to each going to take turns on picking an ingredient that must be used in the recipe. And then we're going to show y'all how to use an ingredient two different ways. So this week, it was her week. We, uh, we decided her choose first. So this week, she chose chicken. So this is what I chose to make. And we're going to call this, Does This Recipe Work? So, since we're not really making these recipes, we're just going to test them for y'all. So, if you see them on social media, Pinterest, or a blog site, website, and you wonder if they're really, they look so easy, and they are hard, or whatever, and you want to know before you try it and buy those ingredients, we're going to help save you time, and we're going to help you save money by not buying ingredients and showing you what could be used, how to use it differently, and kind of critique it for you. So maybe to help you out a little bit. So this week, I am going to cook what you call a chicken pot pie bubble up. Very easy recipe, what I can tell. It says to have the oven preheated to 375 degrees, which, can you believe, the very first, very first video of our series and I preheat my oven to the wrong thing. I did 350. So let me go correct that and make it 375. See, I could have edited that out and you'd never know I made that mistake. But we're keeping it real, folks. I'm, girl, I'm going to tell y'all. That's something about getting older, Rock. I was kind of that way, though, when I was younger, but not as bad. Forgetful and have brain farts all the time. So what we're going to need, let's get back to the recipe. So, what we're going to need for the chicken pot pie bubble up. First thing, I got this off of Pinterest. But it actually comes from plainchicken.com, which I will, of course, have that linked below. Because, like I said, this is not my recipe. I'm just testing it out. And I will also have Miss Leah's Thrifty Fifties uh, channel listed below since we're doing this as a series. So, you can go to her channel and see how what, how, what recipe she used chicken for this week. So... What we're going to need, we're going to need a 9 by 13 pan. So I've got my Pioneer Woman uh, casserole dish here. We're going to need a medium sized bowl. And our Pioneer Woman, as y'all can tell, I'm a Pioneer Woman fan. Okay, now as for the other tools, I'm going to, I got my scraper. I got some scissors, which of course you don't have to have a scraper. You can use a tablespoon and you can use the knife. This is just going to be easier for me. Okay, so we're going to need a cup of cheddar cheese. We're not going to consider that a cup. Two cups of cooked chopped chicken. You could even use rotisserie chicken. I boiled this because I was home. So I just boiled it with salt and pepper and until it was real tender and fell apart. A cup of sour cream. This is eight ounces so this is a cup so that's what I bought. One 12 ounce can of the Grand's Junior Biscuits. So, I like the Grands brand. <laughs> Biscuits is one thing I can kind of tell the difference in the brands. But, if, hey, if you can't, any of any can that's 12 ounce, you should be able to use, be no problem. A can of cream and chicken. A can of cream and chicken soup. And a 12 ounce, well, it says a cup and a half, which is 12 ounces of frozen mixed vegetables. So that is all you're going to need. So all you have to do is, I'm telling y'all, this is the easiest recipe I think I've ever tried. I just hope it comes out really good. All you literally have to do in a large bowl, we're going to literally in, put this ingredients all inside here. Chicken's, the chicken's still kind of hot because I just cooked it not long ago. Got finished cooking it rather, should I say. Okay. And now we're going to add the sour cream. Sometimes, honestly, I, I did this because I know the tablespoon will clatter and make more noise. So that's the reason why I went ahead and got my scraper out. But sometimes, I honestly think a tablespoon is easier than these uh, scrapers. 
and then a, a can of cream of chicken soup. Usually I use fat free, but if y'all remember, I haul this because I got this on a special low uh, deal at Walmart, I think, for like 50 cents, and I picked them up. So, I cut calories wherever I can, and I'm trying to be more active, and I think that's the main thing is, because if you, to me, if I tell myself I got to diet, I'll eat more if I just consider myself to just try to make the best choices I can. Of course, you know me, this would not be a video if my phone did not ring. So there's the that. Now we're going to add the mixed vegetables. Okay. Now we're going to mix all this up together. So as you can see, you couldn't ask <laughs> for an easier recipe than this. Oh, now I'm just praying. Oh, please let this come out good. Taste good. I don't want our first our first series recipe to be a failure. But but of course if it is, I will tell you because that's what I'm that's what we're doing this far. Because I know I see so many easy recipes, and sometimes you think, oh, that's just too easy. That ain't gonna work. Well, that's what me and Lizard is here for to help you figure that out if it does or not. Okay, now this is the now it says to remove biscuits from can, and we're gonna cut each one into four pieces. Now I'm going to uh, pause this because I know some people cannot stand the popping of a can, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I'm gonna say I think these scissors will be just as easy as kitchen scissors. Yes, they're clean. I haven't cut anything else with them. And you just cut them up in fours. Just like this into the batter. I cannot wait to try this. This smells, actually, it really smells good. And I ain't even cooked it yet. Of course, that's probably because my chicken was hot. I hope all y'all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know me and Keith did. We, we spent the day together in Tyler, which is a town uh, kind of close to us. And we had sushi. And then we just went to shopping at different stores. Mostly grocery shopping we did. But we did. I got We, we got each other some Valentine's gifts. And when you get our age, it's kind of like, well, I'd rather spend the money on something I want than roses and <laughs> all the other stuff. And I can't wear a lot of jewelry because of allergy, so why? Okay, so now we've got that added in there, and it says to toss with the chicken mixture. So I'm going to toss it with the chicken mi mixture. And I'll be honest with you, so far this has been the hardest part. <laughs> and that's just because I'm a weak one. I don't know if it's because all the years of working at the computer... Because I used to do insurance, medical billing. I don't know if that's what caused uh, my uh, weakness in my arms. Or if it's just, I don't know. But anyway, I don't have the strength that I once had. Of course, I've never been a real, st <laughs> real strong one. Okay. Now it says to pour biscuit mixture into prepared pan. And I prepared it by spraying non-stick spray in it. So let me get this stuff. Oh, you know what? I found a couple more biscuits. How many of y'all ever do that? You think you got them all, and then there they appear again. Appear some more. I almost left out two biscuits. Oh, here I am out of frame, too. All I'm doing is cutting up these biscuits that I found. Okay, let's check that can this time. Okay, it's all gone. So let's stir this up again. You just want to kind of toss it. Okay, now let's get on with adding it to the pan. Okay. I want you where you can see it. So we're going to add this to the to the uh, to the casserole pan. Now I will say on this part, 
the scraper is a much more easier than the tablespoon. But on the cans and stuff, a lot of times the tablespoon is to me. Probably because that's what I'm used to doing. Okay. And it says to spread it out. And it says if any of the biscuits are clumped together to kind of spread them out. Uh, I don't see that any of them really clumped together, so I think we're okay. Okay, I'll just make sure. Okay, so we've got that in there. Now it says, when you've done that, we make sure they're non clumped together, and then we bake it for 25 to 30 minutes in the 375 degree oven, which my oven has now preheated up to 375. So I'm going to put this in the oven, and when it gets done, I'll come back and show you, and I'll tell you exactly how long it took to cook. Okay, guys, this is it cooked. Now, I will tell you, in my preheated oven at 375 degrees, it did take 40 minutes to get to this. To this, And I'm going to let it set for at least five more minutes more before we eat it because to make sure the biscuits are, are done and good. Uh, so it does did take me more time. So be sure what I did is I set it for 25 minutes and checked it. And it still looked kind of soggy in the middle since it has raw dough in it. I wanted to make sure it was done. So then I put five more minutes on it to 30 minutes, checked it. Still wasn't to what I would call right in here done. So then I put five more minutes on it. And then it took, in a way, it took to 40 minutes to get to this point. And I'm going to let it sit here and it'll continue kind of to cook for the next five or ten minutes. And then we'll eat. We'll come back with a taste test. Okay, here's the taste test. How's it taste? Is the biscuits done? Mm -hmm. and how's it? Tastes good. It's really good. I was really worried that it wouldn't be seasoned enough because it didn't call for any salt and pepper. But it's actually really good, and the biscuits are done. So, like I said, I did have to cook it for 40 minutes. But, sorry to have been too wide open. So, I give this a thumbs up. Oh.